there, it's Simon here. How are you? Today we are going to learn Knock On Wood by Eddie Floyd. Over the next few weeks there's going to be a few soul classics coming at you. I had to learn a bunch, so I thought you might like to learn them too. So, we're going to start off here with an E major. What you might want to do though is play the E major like that, because we're just going to slide it up and down, right? So we've got E, 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 and 1 and 2 and 3 and 4 four and one and two and three and four and so what I'm doing there is that on the accents I'm playing the whole chord and then I'm just muting in between so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and two and three and four and one and two right okay so that's how the intro slash riff goes. Well, there's a little bit extra later, but at the moment that's what we've got. Then we kick off into the verse. And the verse basically is four bars of e A and four bars of E. So you could just play, right? Then four bars of E. But we can do a bit more than that. So we're gonna play this. Right, so you can see that we're just still basically playing A and E, but with there's some little extra bits. So we're gonna, we've got an A here. With our pinky, we're gonna hammer on to the seventh fret of the B string, which is an F sharp, making this chord an A6. I mean, we've got the seven in there as well, so I can add 13, I guess, but you could do this. It's up to you. Okay, now we get one and two and three and four and one and and then with your pinky, I'm hitting a C here. Give it a little bit of bend to kind of, not sure if it's on in or out of tune kind of thing. Right, and then we play this riff. We've got five and six, three and four, and then two and two. So you get this. Okay, so one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three, one and... Okay, and then we go to um, the E. I'm going to play E7. There's the seven. And then um, I just played a little riff in here. Now, uh, pretty hard to hear on the record, but I think something like, you slide from seven to nine, and then you can, and then you're back in A. It's pretty fun. Here it comes. And then back into A. That kind of vibe throughout that section. And then there's uh, another four bars of A, and then we get to the chorus. Yeah. Right, okay, so we've got E7. This is a beautiful way, very sort of 60 solely way of playing E7. It's really just a C7 shape. You're gonna slide it up. Zero, seven, six, seven, five, zero. The best. So we've got one and two and three, A7, A. And then it goes duck, 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 duck. Right, you could do that if you were just by yourself. If you play with a band, let the drummer hit this way. And then uh, we're gonna repeat the intro. And then we're gonna repeat the verse, we're gonna repeat the chorus, then we get to an interlude where we go. Right. 
And then there's a horn part now just underneath the guitar. So I'll explain what I did there. You're the same riff as before. A, G. And then we hit F sharp major. G sharp. A. And then we're going to go C, C, E, D. Okay, so that whole section. back into that verse. Right. And then you go through the first, you go through the chorus, you hit that intro outro thing again, but the one with the... And then... is the whole thing. Thanks so much for watching, I do appreciate it. Do subscribe, hit the bell. If you like the chart and other stuff, extra stuff, chats, uh, extra lessons, charts, a whole bunch of 3,000 in the chart library, please do go to patreon.com forward slash Simon I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.